everybody. So today's video, we're going to be making some soft pretzels and um, yeah, they turned out good. So uh, follow along if you'd like, but let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I always like um, bringing out all of my ingredients at the beginning because um, it just makes the process easier as you go along you don't have to be trying to find all of your ingredients um, so I just have um, the ingredients here it's not too many of them just a handful of items sugar salt active dry yeast flour baking soda, eggs, and then um, butter, which I forgot to put out, but we'll need that at the end. So the first step is gonna take is going to be to take two and a quarter teaspoons or just one packet of active dry yeast. Usually it comes in packages at the grocery store. And we just add that to one and a half cups of warm water and just stir it in and um, it'll dissolve and the yeast is what we're, what's going to be used to basically um, activate or leaven the, the uh, pretzel dough, um, kind of what makes it rise a little bit. So now we're going to take um, some salt, we're going to add in two teaspoons of salt. I, I accidentally just added one teaspoon in the video, or when I was making these, um, and the pretzels turned out good, but it kind of tasted under salted. Um, and then when I was replaying the video while editing, I realized why. Um, and now we're going to take one tablespoon of sugar and add it in as well. mixing bowl and we're going to add in the water yeast mixture and then four and a half cups of flour. We're going to just kind of slowly add this a cup or two at a time um, and just mix it in uh, as you go. Once you've stirred that up, um, we're going to just take our hands and um, knead it into a ball of dough. Um, we don't have to do too much kneading, but um, we're just going to 
squish that together and um, I added a little bit more flour um, if your dough feels a little too sticky kind of like it's um, sticking to your fingers too much uh, then you can add more flour until it doesn't do that too much anymore and it's um, a cohesive just dough ball We're going to take a um, cutting board or any clean surface and we're just going to spread a little bit of flour on it um, so that the dough doesn't stick to the board and we're going to start shaping the dough into the pretzel um, shape Okay, so how we're gonna shape these is we're gonna take um, the whole ball of dough and then we're gonna cut it into, I believe it's eight. Um, yeah, I think it's eight slices. each piece and each one of those is going to become a pretzel. So how we shape it is we're going to um, uh, roll it out. Oh, hmm. I guess they are going to become two pretzels each. I guess I forgot about that. So we cut each one of those. So I guess we're going to have it 16 pretzels in total. Um, but what we're going to do is take each one of those and we're going to roll it between our hands to form like a long, um, uh, a long dough shape. And then we're going to wrap it to make a pretzel. This part takes a little bit of time, but not too long. And you want it to get it pretty even, but it's okay if it's not perfect. And how you wrap it is you're going to take both ends and you're just going to kind of crisscross them over each other and do like little braid. Um, and that's it. And then uh, we're going to do that for each of these. So once you've um, made all of your pretzels, we're going to go put these in a, um, a boiling water bath, basically. So we're going to take um, our baking soda. We're going to use about, like, I would say one third cup. 
cup of baking soda. I tried half cup and I could kind of taste the baking soda um, flavor, which wasn't too great. So I would suggest maybe one fourth or one third cup of baking soda um, and put that in a pot of boiling water and the water doesn't need to be too much um, just so it's up enough so that it's gonna cover the uh, gonna cover the pretzels and once that's boiling or while that is boiling um, or getting up to a boil you can do the eggs so for the egg wash um, we want to take uh, between one and three eggs um, it's not if, if you only have one egg or only want to use one egg that's totally fine it'll just be like a lighter wash with egg on them I like mine like pretty eggy so that's why I use three but I didn't really end up using all of them um, also I dumped my pretzels into the egg wash but um, if you have a brush um, you can uh, what's it called brush them with egg wash but anyways you mix that up and we'll use that in a second but um, taking that pot of water and baking soda we are going to uh, boil these pretzels for 30 seconds per pretzel and you don't need to flip them or anything so you're just gonna boil them 30 seconds try not to go more than 30 20 to 30 seconds um, because they can start tasting kind of like baking soda-ish or metallic tasting actually um i made that mistake when i made these it was a little bit metallic tasting because i left them in for too long so try 20 to 30 seconds um and then we're gonna place them on a pan with parchment paper and then once they're cooled off a little bit so it's not you know hot to the touch um you're gonna put them in the egg so give them an egg wash you can also brush them with a brush if you like, but I wanted to save my um, brush for the uh, butter we're going to put on later, so I dunked them instead in the egg. And then we're going to sprinkle them on top with some coarse sea salt and then bake them um, at 425 degrees for about 10 minutes until they look like this golden brown color so it could kind of be anywhere from 8 to 12 minutes um, but yeah so uh, this is what they look like and um, I'm going to do the last step in a second of putting on um, some melted butter it doesn't matter really if you use salted or unsalted butter but um yeah i almost forgot to put it on at the end and it's totally optional to put butter on at the end same with the egg it's optional to put the egg so um if you're vegan or don't eat eggs that's totally fine too um i've seen it done both ways but yeah so i just brushed it on and that was it and they came out really good but let me know if you make these um, pretzels and let me know what you think of them it's a pretty simple recipe it just takes you know a little bit of time but like the ingredients are um, uh, you know very small amount of ingredients and it's pretty straightforward all right you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video by the way i have a playlist with all of my cooking videos so if you want to ever just you know look at um the cooking videos that i have available that i've done so far um feel free to go to the playlist on my channel and there'll be the cooking playlist cooking videos playlist um, but yeah, I'll see you next time. I'm going to be doing another cooking video, um, uh, probably next week. I'll film it and then it'll come out, um, this month or next month. So soon. All right. Bye you guys.